grand finals. We got Ling Ling encore. versus Quid. L Quid still sticking with the Steve, even though he's in loser side. He's looking for revenge. Uh, <laughs> he he lost winners finals against Ling Ling, uh, and Ling Ling was pretty decisive with it too. Uh, Quid wants to ma at least make it a little closer this time. So let's let's see. And you know he's already you know opening it up with some really good defensive play, trying to mine. He's already got the diamond on. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, my my man is hanging out in the corner, building up his arsenal. The armor is ready. He's ready to just dish out some some crazy damage here. Uh, but Ling Ling's like, uh, no thanks. I'm just gonna flow over you the whole set. Yeah, I think that the problem in this matchup for. Uh for, for Steve, at least, is that you don't have, like, the, the like, uh, I don't know. Steve's burst is, like, not bad, but it's, it's very limited range. Yeah. It's pretty good horizontally, uh, especially, of course, with minecart. Minecart and stuff. Um, yeah. But it's when he gets above you. It's when Ling Ling gets above you. That's a problem. Yeah, so, so Ling Ling can hang out right outside your range. And, oh, Saturn on deck. He's always going to see you coming. Of course. He's Ling Ling. <laughs> Especially with Steve's recovery. Like, once Ling Ling gets, uh... Oh, the shield break! I mean, he's 3%. He, do? he doesn't he's really give do it. He's gonna do something. He got 46 Yo, damage. 43% yeah. is not bad off a of shield break. I'll take it. Oh, he's like, get this Saturn off my <laughs> stage. <laughs> yeah, like, like we were saying before, uh, Ling Ling, when, once he gets you into disadvantage, he knows exactly where you're gonna be. Uh, and like I said in Winner's Finals, like, if you're Steve and you're off stage. You can you can bet your ass that Ling Ling is gonna be right in front of you every single time. There there's definitely stuff like there's definitely like uh, minecart recovery high into like some sort of like up B ledge cancel, especially on the PS2 platforms. You can get like ledge cancel back air. That sure. that minecart actually just went through the forward and extended the hurt box on the, I mean the hitbox on the the minecart. This is all sorts of wacky stuff in this matchup. But right now it seems pretty even. Uh, even uh, nice parry, but he's not gonna get the punish. Okay, he he, he knew he was uh, gonna spot dodge there. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if the mix is there. You know how like you parasol up B and it hits like on stage. I wonder if the mix is if I hit if you tried to like up B before you grab ledge the TNT will, will connect. Okay. Uh. Double back air is good pressure on shield. And Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just Knowing dropped exactly the turnip waiting. Gonna be. And turnip covers like so much, especially if you try to go low. And as it resets to neutral here, uh, both players are, again, camping each other out. The cup. Cup. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, no, I think like. I, it's been 0 0 for a hot minute now. <laughs> yes. Uh, 3 minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Actually, like, I, I gotta say, I would not mind if this went to time because, uh, I don't know, I kind of like camping out. Like, <laughs> it's pretty fun to watch. Like, you know, who's gonna get the first hit? Because either yep. one of these players are uh, pretty explosive when they get that first hit. Speaking of first hits, yeah. For Diamond time. up here is gonna be some stuff. I mean, up tilt, rather. What the heck? Yo, F-Smash gonna catch him looking? Oh my... Yeah, I think Ling Ling thought he was gonna uh, grab ledge a little earlier there, but uh, Quinn knew exactly the timing to, to catch him. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take two side to get through that wall. Iron's a little tough. He's violating it. Up tilt. Oh, he messed up the input there. Okay, looks like Ling Ling's struggling a bit. Quid has been uh, really uh, focusing on his defensive play and making sure that uh, building those walls, using minecart as a really good burst option that Ling Ling has to respect. I, I wonder if there's gonna be like a like a like a secondary gameplay where uh, so he puts up the wall. Ling Ling double back airs it to break through the wall. Oh my God! Oh yeah. He didn't mash out of the minecart, so he got forwarded for it. Yeah, Ling Ling has not been mashing out of that. I wonder if he should start doing that. <laughs> no?
All right, Quiz looking for vengeance. He's looking for that that a, six zero. A, a lot of Steves will will like sit and wait for you to mash out a minecart and the option. So maybe he's just kind of like waiting out the burst option. But that time, Quiz like, oh, you're not mashing. I'm coming out with that forward air. Mm -hmm. I mean, he still had jump, so he was like, his assumption was, I don't mash out. I jump up B. I'm I'm chilling. Like, the the parasol is gonna cover a lot of my defense options. Yes, this is. I'm not sure why Quid didn't <laughs> ban Kalos. Because uh, this is pretty much the perfect stage for a character like Daisy to camp him out uh, with those platforms. No. Snipe him with dot eyes on deck. Any any damage here? Uh, I like the up air read on the on the Oh that turn on the the, 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 the the neutral get up on the like he didn't assume he'd tech roll out because tech roll out's kinda scary at that point. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, Ling Ling is at 13, Quid's at 60, Ling Ling does not have to approach. He's just, I can just see him uh, floating from platform to platform, and, and Quid, okay, well there's one thing about camping Steve, right? And that's, uh, Full resources. You, you let him, you know, you let him do his own thing, he's gonna have the diamond, like, before you even know it. <laughs> All those up tilts, I mean up airs were like so close to connecting. Isn't it so funny watching him like just swing it like every other frame? It's super interesting watching the the up air bounce him off the, the I mean not, not up air, but the, the, the peach crown, the forward air, bouncing him off the the, 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 the iron block and sending the opposite direction. Yeah, the, the, these blocks feel like stage hazards almost with the way that they're messing with uh the like Okay, very well placed. Howard are going to take it. And Quid immediately has the diamond. Just because of all the materials he's able to uh, pick up. This is going to be a long set. All right. <laughs> uh, we got Stitch on Stitch deck, Stitch on though. deck. 51% yeah. immediately. I don't think he was ready to, to combo off of him hitting the block. Oh, oh the floor are going to take the it stitch. Again. Alright. So I have him in the corner, minecart out. Minecart out, forward air. He just punched the stitch. He was like, nope. <laughs> it's like, absolutely not leave, leave me alone. So, uh, I like how Quid's making sure he keeps those turnips. He wants to do some, some crazy crap with it. Oh, Ling Ling doesn't have his double jump. Uh. Whoa, that border hit like above Daisy. I, I just love how every time Ling Ling, you know, throws out a move, it lands. Yeah. Like, he's not really as much of a masher, you know? Yeah. More of a calculated... <laughs> With the side be like, I would not expect that to land. Forward are gonna take the stock. Ling Ling has a lead. I wonder if he can if he can make some extra credit off of this. I think... I like the wait. So he's been double back airing those, that wall over and over again. I like the wait to see if, like, Quid's gonna adapt to do something different once he looks for the second back air. Yeah. Another Saturn run back. Yeah, oh, Saturn gone. Lin Ling's luck is pretty good right now. Uh, <laughs> winner's finals, he, he pulled two bombs that set. Oh, no. And he's pulled several stitches as well. Minecart going to take it? Quid is going to go against the odds and still attempt to take this game. I'm just so impressed at, at the way Ling Ling lands every every hit he, he tries to hit. No, nah, he's he's very he's very I'm he's very reserved about his button pushes. I, I feel like that's the thing, like he, he switches between playstyles very quickly. 
like one minute he'll be like, I'm camping you, I'm floating over you, I'm not gonna hit you. And then the next minute he's, he's gonna be like, all over your shield. Yep. And you just don't know what to expect. He's just kinda like walking into the block, what is this? <laughs> well, right behind the block was actually like where the turnip was landing, so I feel like walking behind the block was not the strat either. Forwarder? Minecart forwarder? That's a really good challenge. Oh, up smash. Okay, that did a lot of damage. This minecart's kind of getting uh, unanswered. I like the TNT up top so he can't go high. Ooh, a nice wait. Yeah. Wait with the death stare. Okay, he didn't have a follow up for that forward air. Ling Ling. Oh, <laughs> Another oh, bomb. bomb! What is the mix here? Oh, his shield is so they low. His shield is tiny. That Nair uh, could have broken the shield, but it actually just poked it instead. Oh my god. Order? Is anybody's game like next hit kind of kind of. Oh. Nair at ledge with the low float. Wait. Cart. Cart, cart challenge has the up higher, yeah. higher cart, cart has higher kill power than up air, so the trade ended up oh, giving no. Steve the win. Oh my goodness. By the look on Luna's face, I think I think he didn't know what that interaction was gonna be, so he kinda went for it. Jeez, okay. Uh, wait, did they go Kalos again? I didn't see. Game three. Yeah, Kalos again. I mean, that was a little too close for comfort for me. I would not have gone Kalos again. Yeah. Okay. I love the I love the use of like aerial smash attacks with the uh, with the block. It's right oh, there, yeah. yeah. It's so good. Yeah, it's, it's it basically cancels like right after you release it. So it's unpunishable. And the difference is like like when you swing smash stacks in neutral, you're like you're normally on the ground and you're like, alright, they have like ages to punish me. But when it's in the midair, you have to be precise if you want to punish that. Like even though you have the time, the precision on the precision is, is the question. Yeah, it's precision. <laughs> precision that that Ling Ling does have the ability to to find. Winky face. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Nice, nice. Part. Don't don't drop that. It's the same situation. He's he's high percent. He just needs to get some extra pressure off the stock, and there it goes again. <laughs> yep. He Quay is really good with finding those straight back airs. Which is really trying really hard to find a diamond right now. He, I can kind of tell he's really mining desperately. Oh, I like the down air at ledge to cover the the, the upbeat of stage. This is like the lead that that, that Lily needs to kind of. Quits blocks. Building right now is feeling so weird. Yeah, I feel like in this situation, like, Ling Ling obviously wants to press his advantage because uh, Steve's at kill percent and he's not. But it's definitely it's making him take a lot of stray hits. And then he gets... Uh, the gold forward are going to take it. Yep, and he finally has his diamond now, which I assume he's going to take as he, immediately as he lands. Yep, okay. Yeah. Return kill, 0-0. Zero, zero. What is going on? I feel like Ling is kind of on a time limit of don't let him have all the resources. Like, I you mean, won't want his diamond to break, it'd be gone for good for the rest of the game. That's true. But 
the chain. Man, I, I felt like I was, that was going into an up smash, but maybe he knew it wouldn't kill or something. Pulls the diamond again. Is that gonna? No, that's not gonna. Up smash out of shield, so good. It's so good, and the next one is going to kill. It scoops him so far away. Cal's like, luckily for Ling Ling, has a high ceiling. So removes the kill power from that from that up smash for a little bit. Okay, but so the situation here is like, uh, you basically need to trade, uh, especially if he's gonna throw out minecart all the time. Like it's it's really hard to punish that without trading with it. And at this percent, like, uh, Ling Ling was is gonna die if he makes any kind of trade. So he has to be a lot more careful. Oh, that just kills. All right, <laughs> up throw gonna kill. All right, well, uh, Quid is going to make the reset with yep. a 3-0. That, that was a swift reset 3-0. I unironically wanted uh, wanted Ling to kind of force him onto PT. Like, I'd rather see the PT matchup. But yeah, it looks, it looks like, like he's adapted. Was, he's coming for that vengeance. And uh, on that note, I'm going to have to leave you to it. <laughs> All right. uh, but it was really fun commentating. Thanks, man. And good luck to Quid, because he looks like he really, really wants to win this. All right, we're into game one of true finals. Back to PS2 start. Quit off to a little bit of run, put him off stage for forward airs. Quit at 95%. Luling has a nice little lead here. Took the first stock. This has been the situation the last couple games, but uh, Luling hasn't managed to make very much of the the stock one like advantage. He needs to get an actual amount of extra credit without losing the stock here. Good placement by the block to stop the side B. Pressure by Quid. Nice parry on the second side B. Ling Ling mounted a good amount of lead, but he got the, got, got the stock cleaned up. <laughs> Ling Ling pokes a little hole in the wall and then gets to throw a turnip through it. Instead of the, the usual double up air into the wall. Quit at 150%. A lot of Peach just straight hits will kill here. Back air, side B, forward air. Forward air, just like you said, takes the stock. Good DI away by Ling. Uh, any DI in would have got a diamond death smash. Would not have been a good situation. Let's be a little careful here. Diamond on deck, he needs to. Uh, not be the aggressor, make sure that his moves are safe. Up to that, a shield no, will net a lot of damage when, when Diamond's on deck. Good back air, playing right outside of his spacing. Kind of, the, the situation is that he'll always, all oh, that DI was 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 quite, quite good. It was like right in the top right corner, almost lived. Up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. Up, I mean, up tilt, up tilt, up. Up air, up air. Quick 40% for Quinn. Lily needs to seal out the stock. Diamond still on deck. Side B keeping on the pressure. Oh. 
Oh no, the forward air was enough. I I don't know that he didn't have jump. I think he could have jumped. All right, could takes game one of grand finals. I think that 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 forward air was. I, I was quite surprised the forward air was enough to put him under the the stage. That so up he didn't make it. Yeah. Ling died at like seventy there. He got he got forward air diamond forward air at a fifty and couldn't come back. Up tilt up air chains to start out the set. The shield break, does he have something for 73%? Uh, he just mined gold and then I'm smashed. I guess that's the mix. Oh no, the side we got whiff punished with the F smash. Take the first stock. This is a bad situation for Ling Ling. He's usually had the lead on the first stock. A lot of interesting interactions with the with the Steve blocks where side B's ending on the, the side of the Steve block like it's the end of a ledge. So he gets the pressure without pushing himself in, in too bad of a situation. Ling really needs to seal out the stock. 150% from Steve. Still alive. Back air cross stage, not gonna take you just yet. Dash attack gets punished by up smash. Lingling has to find a way down. He's now sharking Steve with up, up airs, and back air is gonna take it. Ling at 109%, so he's kinda play the waiting game. Diamond on deck. Double back air, dash attack, F smash. I mean, uh, forward air actually gonna clank with uh, minecart and extend the hitbox. Link has take like dealt like 97% on answer. This is exactly what he needed. What the hell? The minecart? I mean, not the minecart. The side, uh, the up B seemed to have sent Link to the blast zone. That was actually a pretty interesting interaction. Still 110% is like pretty good extra credit from where Ling Ling was. V very surmountable difference. Another Saturn on deck. This parry animation is so wacky. Yeah, could wants no part of that. He's like, this is your, your entry back into the game. I'm going to take this Saturn and take it off the stage. Quid still living at 150%. Not dying yet to Peach back here from center stage. Back are going to contest the up B. Dash attack first is gonna hit, but it's not gonna fully connect because the turn up lands on Peach's head. Ling Ling doing a good job of keeping Steve in the corner for now. 68%. Forward air, gonna put him on stage, 80%. Definitely definitely in kill range. He goes for ledge trump, does not hit the ledge trump. Forward air gonna connect. I feel like Quid's looking for that second hit down air into back air. Ling Ling hasn't let him connect it just yet. Back air is enough to take it. Ling Ling takes the first game of grand final so far. That, that, that has to be like the light at the end of the tunnel for Ling Ling seeing his first win after four games.
the bands are different. We're going to FD. No more PS2. Which is interesting because uh, the band's last game um, wound up with Lingling Ling picking Kalos, but on Ling Ling's, uh, on Quid's counter pick, he, we, we were seeing FD. Here we go, game three of Grand Finals, or True Finals, rather. Saturn on deck. This man pulls Saturn like it's his job. Back hit of Nair. Kind of a sneaky sneaky hit to, to weave in there. Diamond on deck for Quid. He just has to, to craft it. He drops the, he drops the table. I like the pressure on Lingling's side to so not let him pull Diamond. Now he pulls Diamond, but he gets a grab off of him pulling Diamond. Lingling trying to make some use of uh, Steve's building blocks to, to pull turnips from, from, from the sky. Apparently there's turnips in the building blocks too. Not just the ground. Winky face on deck? Oh, it's not Winky face. I think that's a normal actually. I lied. Up smash out of shield, gonna take it once again. Diamond still mined already. Good stop on like the, there's only a, an initial hit on Steve's up B, so Luling does a good job of like stuffing it out by waiting with Nair at ledge. That was such a good read. He up tilt, up tilt on shield and then caught him air dodging to the right and then F smashed it. Then he's gonna take his first stock of the game. This is diamond on deck. This is a pretty dominant, like pretty, pretty dominant game for, for quid, but there's still a lot of like, Peach has combos for days. A nice little down tilt starter or dash attack. Uh, da uh, dash attack with turn up in hand starter. Like, like uh, Z drop dash attack. And any like turn up or down tilt starters can really get the party going for Ling Ling, but it's looking pretty dire. Stitch face on deck. Get a good amount of percentage without really taking too much punishment for it, but it's still looking daft. It's still, it's still like he's been lapped in percentage. There's still a whole other stock on quids that he has to get rid of. He needs to seal out the stock right now if there's any hope of him like winning this game. Forward air with diamond. Gonna put him off stage. Forward throw. Up throw. Up throw actually gonna mix up. 165. Up throw gonna guaranteed kill. Into game four of grand, in, into game four of grand, uh, true finals. Ling fighting for his life. He needs to win a game in order to to take it to game five. This music is busting. I guess it's going PS2 again, or is it going to be Kalos again? Ah, he's taking it, Kalos. While I like, uh, I don't understand how we end up here because uh, it's it's Link's counter pick, obviously a stitch on deck already. Um, it's Link's counter pick, but I, I I feel like Steve on a stage where the blast zones are kind of far away isn't the greatest situation for Link. I, I feel like Peach has good kill power, and maybe another stage like like uh, Town might be more useful. But here we are on Kalos, and I think there's a lot of like back air forward stuff that just won't kill early enough. 
<laughs> when we find a little hole in the wall and throwing the, the turnips through it. The turnip sniper himself. Yeah, this is the same thing as like the snake matchup where you're... Yeah, hello. Alright, we're gonna get a G Extreme on the mic real quick. Hey, what's up? Not much. I just wanted to commentate because this is Steve. Absolutely. This is uh, Ling Ling, my boy. Yeah, this is your boy versus the boy you play. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, he's doing really well um, against Ling Ling. Um, because realistically, Peach shouldn't really be losing this matchup after she has the lead. Like, it's just it's so difficult to get in. Um, Steve is so slow, can't reach her uh, at any point. I think um, Ling has had like multiple games this set where he took the first stock, but he hasn't made very much of it after he ta taken the first stock. Mm -hmm. I think he just, like, he'll wait a bit too long hoping to get something with the turnip, and then at some point you are gonna mess up and get hit. Um, that's just how it works. Yeah. And Steve, you know, when he gets one hit in, he's getting a lot of damage. Yeah. And also, a lot diamond. of the up tilt up air starters into like up smash. He gets like, no, look, all right. So look, he's taking the first stock. Let's see if he can make make a lead off of this, or if he gets returned fired. Oh, he's that's another a stitch attack. Yeah, stitch. as a stitch, pull the stitch immediately. His luck. This is his second stitch of the game, by the way, and like he's pulled like three Saturns this set already. Okay, like it's actually been insane. Yeah, that's just what happens in this matchup. I've played Ling uh, a lot, and when we played Steve versus. Um, Beat this matchup. It's just, I think I got Saturn, or I got Saturn into bomb into Stitch all in one row, and I was like, how does that even happen? He was, it's just luck. It's just, oh, the forward air actually gonna the hitbox extend on the minecart. Yeah, this is just Ling's uh, game to win. Yeah, there's no absolutely. way. Okay, maybe I'll there's a way. gonna <laughs> take it. Yeah. I noticed Quinn is just like, he's very neutral uh, based, more so than combo based, like many other Steves. So um, you can definitely make this comeback. Yeah, he's absolutely willing to let it reset to neutral mm -hmm. and just farm out what he wants to farm out. It's just this neutral is just so hard. Ooh, another dot eyes. It's impossible to just get in at this point, especially on Kalos. This this is most likely Ling's favorite stage, I'd say. I don't know that I agree with it for the Steve pick. I was just talking about that. I think that like I feel like. Peach has, Peach has really good burst options like forward air and back air and side B. They just don't kill early enough on Kalos. Mm. That's true, but in this matchup, those platforms really matter because it gives her a way to reset her float um, in the corner where Steve can't really catch her. Yeah. Um, and as you've been seeing, she, he, uh, Ling Ling just floats uh, back to the uh, platform. Another and, up. Oh, God. and then just floats to the other uh, platform. Up air, up air. Okay. Yeah, Diamond isn't just powerful, but it's so, like, mentally taxing to deal <laughs> with. So if he gets this... Oh, never mind. But I was going to say, if he gets this stock, it can, like... Yeah, you can definitely take 60 off of one yeah. interaction. But that was, like, the death there. They both were just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, who's going to swing first? Yeah, and Steve's just one of those characters where, like, after he starts uh, coming back, it's like, you want to air dodge against everything. You want to, like, quickly, like, get back into it. But he doesn't really let you do that. Um, and I think Ling was uh, definitely like showing that. Like he would, um, he would try and like fish for forward air a lot. Um, not last game, but um, the game before that where he lost. Yeah. There's just a lot of forward air, and there were some punishes that he that uh, could have done, like up smash on the forward air. I mean, yeah. But uh, let's see what he does on the last game. This is actually the last, last yeah. game. I actually respect the fact that Quid didn't just like Pokemon Trainer. I, if I was Quid in this situation, I'd definitely Pokemon Trainer. Mm. Not, I mean, you could definitely uh, win, obviously, with uh, yeah. Pokemon Trainer. But I think like the switch in characters might be uh, a little too, too much. Yeah. yeah. I really like that there. He, uh, he forward aired. Um, Ling Ling into a block and immediately knew that that trajectory was happening, so he back aired it mm. off of the block, off stage. Okay, right now he has the lead, but this is Smashville. Um, it's way easier to catch Ling, but at the same time, it's way easier to just turn up uh, and corner Steve for sure. Turn oh, I, I was talking about that interaction a lot. I think that, like, uh, 
side B is really interesting in this situation because it'll it'll like stop on the ledge of Steve blocks, mm -hmm. so he can swing side B pressure and not be as vulnerable as he normally is by going like too far. Mm -hmm. Like he can do really really short bursty side Bs because the the Steve block will stop his momentum. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is scary to land uh, right here, and he already has diamond. Just doing such a good job of like not letting uh, Ling get in, and especially on like I said on this stage, it's just so hard to do that. But at the same time, there are a lot of perks of this stage. Um, one of the biggest perks is that you actually get diamond faster on this stage because of the way um, Steve works, and he uses axe instead of um, his pickaxe. So what he loses is an up tilt and an up air instead of his back air and forward air, which matter a lot more. Uh, as I said, or as the game progresses, you know. Yeah. I think I think uh, okay. Quip has been opting to jump out of his minecart a bit earlier, knowing that Ling wants to challenge it with back air. Mm. Okay. Good. Keeping you in the corner. Ooh. Hold on. How's he gonna do it? Uh, that is gonna nair. He's actually done, yeah. I was actually saying he he's done a, he's done a pretty good job. Of challenging uh, Steve Uppy with with Nair, Nair like float Nair at ledge. Yeah, I was surprised he didn't go for Nair there. I think Ling's just like undershooting a bit too much, uh, and it showed that forward air right there. He got minecarted, but he's still in it. He just needs one good pluck. Yeah. Um, and he can one. literally oh no, Backer gonna take it. Little Roar back are gonna really call out the the, the jump. See, his damage, yeah. See, Link's my boy, but I'm gonna be reviewing these bots as being like, what can my Steve do, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, why, why am I not winning the Steve matchup against Link? Yeah. <laughs> I've only that. won one set against him, but, uh, with Steve. But it's, uh, after that, nope. It's still really tough. Um,. The good thing about this stage compared to uh, Kalos is that he's just getting so many more materials. He doesn't really run out like, uh, like in Kalos where he has to mine stone. That's actually the first time I've seen him use counter this whole set. I'm just curious. Is really good against uh, minecart in some situations, but usually it's really risky because what if he just jumps out early and then backers you, you know? Yeah. It can definitely be a bait. Those are so good. He always does that. Yeah, the, the, it looks like he's posturing with back air, but it's really just tomahawk grab after mm -hmm. after the low float. It looks like how did that? Uh, how did you get hit by that? But then you like, then you're put in that situation. And it's like you're always getting grabbed. Yeah. I like the turn up. It like kind of like gave him enough time to like think about what what, what he wanted to punish it with for cool. Oh, back air. that's it. And that's it. GG's. Grand finals. It's Grand over. Finals. Quit Steve takes Encore.